Okay, question 18. Deb has three discs, and each disc has a seven on one side and an eight on the other side. He spins all the discs, and he adds the three scores together. How many different totals can he get using the three discs? So what we're interested in here is how many different totals can he get? So if we look at the discs, we've got these here, and we could have different combinations. On one side is an eight, and on the other side is a seven. So we could have as our total, we could have an eight, an eight, and an eight. So three eights are 24. So we could have had eight plus eight plus eight, that's 24. We could also have all the discs on 7. 7 plus 7 plus 7. That's going to give us 21. So there's two different totals that we could have. Now, if we start to look at the other totals, we could have an 8 with two 7s. Okay, so 7 and 7 is 14 plus 8. That makes 22. That's another total. Now, we could have a different combination here. We could have a 7, an 8, and a 7, or we could have 7, 7, 8. But any combination with two 7s and an 8 is going to give us the same total. So we've covered any combination with two 7s and an 8. So now, let's think again. We've got 8s and 7s. We could have a different combination that's a 7 and two 8s. So 8 and 8 is 16, we're going to plus the 7, and that's going to give us 23. So here, we've got 7 plus 8 plus 8 is 23. Now, we've got four different totals here. Let's think if there's any possible way of getting another total. We could have 7, 7, 8, but that's the same as this one. We could have... 887, but that's the same as this one. And if we think about all the different combinations, these are the only four possible different ones that we could get. So the answer is four. Four different ones.